I'm a general dentist. And when I was younger, I wanted to be a whole lot of things, uh, one of which was a police officer. Um, I used to watch a lot of cops. Um, but as I got older, I realized I was scared of everything. I don't like to be chased. I don't like people to chase me. So that was out. When I got into high school, I kind of honed in on, you know, I want to be in the medical profession. I just fell in love with the art and the science of dentistry. When I went on to college, I went to NC State University. Um, I graduated with a degree in chemistry. But while I was there, again, I focused on different summer programs that would lead me towards dentistry. And the next thing you know, um, I found myself applying to dental school. So I finally made it to that point and I didn't get in. Um, so of course I was crushed. Um, I didn't know what to do. Um, I talked to my mentor and we were just kind of brainstorming on different things I can do in the meantime um, until I applied again uh, the next year. And I looked into a master's program in Mississippi. I was going by myself, um, but I found that that was the time the Lord really took me and was like, this is your time to focus on me. Maybe within the first uh, few months that I was there, I actually got into dental school. Um, so when I matriculated at, uh, to UNC Chapel Hill, it wasn't as smooth as I anticipated it to be. But again, looking back, I can see how the Lord really uh, used my experience there to develop me into the practitioner I am today. So I want to make sure every day that I'm going into work, I'm praying, Lord, anoint my hands and Lord, heal. I love what I do. It's challenging, but I think I'm, I'm made for this. Yeah, so I'm an attorney. Um, I think it, kind of like Chanel said, just like her, I had a whole bunch of different dreams and aspirations growing up. I wanted to be a bus driver one day. The next day I wanted to be a principal. The next day I was going to be the senator, be a president. So. You know, I had, I had a lot of ideas of, of things I wanted to do. Um, and in middle school, my aunt, uh, she was in law school in DC. And so I would go up there um, on my breaks uh, from school. And I remember going in and sitting in class with her. Um, and so just kind of hearing the lecture. Um, so that was kind of like my first introduction to the law. So I went to the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Going away to Greensboro, I feel like that's where I really grew in the Lord, um, got involved with some good campus ministries, um, developed some great friendships, um, and I feel like the Lord really um, used that time to, to grow me. I applied to law school um, my senior year, and I ended up getting into the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And I would say kind of like Chanel, like, it wasn't as smooth. My first semester, it uh, it rocked me. <laughs> it didn't go the way I wanted it to go, but you know what, I focused, I'm gonna, I got this, I'm gonna do this. I went, sat for the bar, and passed the bar the, the very first time. Um, and so I've, I've kind of held some different positions. One, one position I had, I was the director of a section, um, and so I had um, 18 employees who worked under me, um, so kind of got some leadership experience there. It's been amazing, but at the same time, it's when you're still so new, there's still so much you don't know um, that you don't learn in school. So um, I find um, that it's been a lot of continuing just to trust the Lord, um, knowing that He will strengthen you, He'll help you. Um, and I feel like He has definitely provided every everything I need um, in that position. Um. And we, we just try to do our quiet time every morning. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we're tired and, you know, we've been up all night with Noah. So, it, you know, we kind of miss it a little bit, but then we'll remind each other, hey, you need to go do your quiet time when we get home. Um, because when I go to work, I'm tired. When I'm driving home, I'm even more tired. And I want to make sure that I'm giving um, Asia and the boys a hundred percent because I give my patients a hundred percent. Knowing that the Lord strengthens me and that he helps me, that all I have to do is stay plugged into him because um, he, because he's my source. Like that is, I would say that that's like the first, first principle. And, and I know when I'm starting to feel tired and I'm like, okay, have I, have, have I been connected to my source? Um, so getting, getting, making sure I, Try, like Chanel said, making sure that we're we're, we're staying connected to the Lord and ha having that time. I'm Asia Prince. And I'm Chanel Prince. And, and we, we are 2021, 2021 Heroes. Heroes.